Hi guys, my name is Lassie Travis. You welcome back to the channel. So today I will be drafting a very fitted fancy skirt for myself and I thought to take you guys along. Um, yeah, so this fancy skirt is going to have this very contoured look, especially around the butt. Okay, um, before we start, if you've not subscribed to this channel please take this moment and do so and if you've been coming around this channel and haven't subscribed please guys just subscribe subscribe please so i started off by coming down from the top of my paper and i drew a horizontal line this horizontal line is going to be my waist line and i also came in two inches from this edge of my paper and I square right across this point of vertical line. So this vertical line is going to be my center front. Next, from the top line, I'm going to mark my waist to hip measurements, which is eight inches, and square out a horizontal line right across this point. This is my hip line. From the top line, I'm going to mark down the length of my skirt that reaches to my knee. And this length is 23 inches. And then I'm going to square a line right across this point. This is the bottom of the skirt. Now on the hip line, I'm going to mark my hip divided by four and then subtract one inch from that measurement. And this for me will be nine and a half inches. And then I'm going to square a vertical line right across this point. Okay. Now I'm going to come upward from the side of my pattern, one inch upward from the hip line. So this is going to act as a guide. Now on the waistline from center front, I'm going to mark my waist divided by four plus one and quarter inches for dot. And I'm going to connect these two points together. And then I'm going to extend this curved line right above the waistline. I'm extending with about half of an inch, okay? Next, I am going to come down from the hip line on the side of my paper with two inches. And then I'm going to come in from the bottom from the side seam two inches. And then I'm going to proceed to connect these two points together. All right, next I am going to mark my dart width, and this will be um, I'll measure in from center front my nip to nip measurement divided by two. This is three and three quarter inches. And from this point, I'm going to mark down five and a half inches. So my dart length is a bit long. This is intentional so as to eliminate the bulge I usually have on the front part of my skirt. Now on both sides of this vertical line, I'm going to mark my dart width of 5 eighths of an inch on both sides of the vertical line and then connect this point to form the darts. Now, because my pattern paper is on fold, I'm just going to copy the horizontal lines and the vertical line and then cut out my front pattern. Next, I'm going to take the measurement from this half mark above the waistline to my hip. So this measurement should equal my waist to hip measurement when it's taken from the side seam. Okay, so next I am going to close the darts and from the center front i'm going to mark down one inch i'm marking down this one inch because i usually have this annoying bulge on my skirt at the front so this coming down with one inch is going to eliminate that bulge so while my dart is folded i am going to draw a curved line from this point to the point on the center front so this would be my front waist line. Now following the curve of the waist line, I'm going to add half inch seam allowance and then I'll proceed to add half inch seam allowance on the side seam 
and also half inch M allowance on the bottom of the skirts. And then I'll go ahead and cut out this pattern. Now moving to the back, I am going to place my front pattern along the vertical line, making sure it blends with all the horizontal line. And then I'm going to copy just the outline of the side seam of the pattern, including the seam allowance, okay? To continue on the back pattern, remember on the front we divided the hip measurement by four and subtracted one inch. Now I'm going to come out from this vertical line and mark out this one inch and then square a vertical line right across this point. So this is going to be the center back of the skirt, okay? Now from the previous vertical line, I'm going to mark in my nip to nip measurement divided by two. Then from this point, I'm going to mark down five and a half inches, which is the length of my dart for the back. Now I'm going to square down a vertical line and on both sides of this vertical line, I'm going to mark out my dart width of one and quarter inches. So divide that into two and mark that on both sides of the vertical line and connect the points to form the dart. In order to get the contoured look around the bot, I'm going to connect a line from this point to the hip line on center back, like so. Next, I'm going to mark down from the hip line along the center front line, eight inches, and then connect this point to this point like so. And as you can see, the curve is not realistic. So I'm going to go in and smoothen the curve by just cutting out the sharp edges. So make sure if you're going to follow this, you have a smooth curve that looks realistic. So next I'm going to fold in the dart and then use my French curve and draw a curve from this point blending into the waistline. Following the curve of the waistline, I'll go ahead and add half inch seam allowance to the waistline. And then following the curve of the center back, I'm going to mark out three quarter inch zip allowance. And then I'll go ahead and cut out this pattern. So remember to fold in your M allowance before you cut out the pattern. And here guys, we've come to the end of this pattern making tutorial. On my next video, I'll be showing you how I made the skirt and we'll be seeing the finished look together. I hope so. So remember to tune in. Um, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you do, remember to leave a comment, like this video and share. And also remember to subscribe guys subscribe if you haven't okay so i'll see you next time bye, -bye.